Today we're gonna to be unboxing $250 worth of fish for my brand new saltwater aquarium. Let's see what I got today. I think they're pretty dang good. Jump into it, see what kind of fish I bought. It is nippy out here. We're gonna be going inside to unbox I got a nice little light setup going, but it is currently 53 degrees in Florida. I got a long sleeve or short sleeve shirt on. These can cut diamonds right now. Okay, but uh, listen, we do a lot of videos out here on the dock. You can see I beat her up, okay? I beat this dock up pretty dang good. Gonna be giving her a nice fresh paint job so we can do a lot more videos out here. So we're getting a new paint job on the dock and the underwater lights, I finally got them to be able to be hooked up to the, side, the, the thing next to the boat. So now they're gonna be on every single day, not whenever I want them to be. They're gonna be on every single day. Now that we're getting into that, you know, in the springtime, it is snook season. If there's a snook, I may give an update the after we unbox. If I come out here tonight with the snook lights and see if there's big fish swimming around, usually every time I turn them on, there's some monster fish around. So hopefully now in the next couple weeks, now that they're gonna be on every single day, who knows, maybe we can catch some giants and catch it on video for you guys. That would be epic. So let's jump into the unboxing. We got $250 worth of fish. Inflation is a B-I-T-C-H. Gotta love it. $250 today was not $250 five years ago. I could have bought 20 million fish for 250 bucks. Let's see what we got, put them in the tank. Now the boys are doing ridiculously amazing. They eat so well. They Remember when they were scared of me when I first got them in, they were hiding behind the rocks. Look at the tang, he loves me. He loves me, they all love me. So the fish are doing great and I'm excited to finally add some more. We haven't really gotten fish in a little bit, but check these boys out to eat, look at that. Piranhas, this tang is the best tang. I absolutely love him. He would be so scared of me before and now, so cool. He's got really, really cool spots too when you really look close to him. You can't really, you can't really tell when you're far away. I mean, he's got some dope spots like on his little nose. So the fish are doing great, all the clowns, the um, the butterfly crushing, and I'm pumped to get in. And Tim, Brooke just got here, who's filming? Brooke just got here, and the first thing she said when she looked in the tank is, holy cow, Tim is a freaking fat. He is fat. Look how big this guy's gotten. Like, it's kind of scary how fast he has grown. That man is a quarter pounder with cheese, double quarter pounder with cheese. You guys see him good? Look at that guy. That dude is a double, maybe a Big Mac. He, I don't think he's just quite to the Big Mac. He's a double quarter pounder with cheese though. That man has tripled in size. What the frick? I need what he's taking. I'm trying to get jacked. I, I need his diet. Straight Sergeant Majors and crabs. So now that you guys can see, all the fish are doing great. Even the, the little shrimps are doing great. They're all, look, they found their spots. They're like hanging upside down and eating the scraps. That's why you get shrimp. But we got new fish to add today. And bag number one, we are gonna start with, uh, there's a couple ones that I got. The last fish I did get that you got to see at the end of the video is my favorite fish. You guys are gonna really enjoy him, but they're really hard to keep. So we gotta really watch him, make sure he's doing good. So just wait till the end. That is a, a really cool fish. The, I did buy a couple ones that are gonna brighten up the tank. You notice we have a lot of brown and then yellows and deep purples. We need, we need stuff more like, uh, like our firefish here, more bright colors yellow, white, that's what we need. So I tried to spice up a little bit today and I got some ones that are gonna help with uh, all the scraps on the bottom, just like the shrimp, including bag number one, this guy right here. This guy, I'm totally blanking out on the name. This guy is a something goby, ribbon goby? No, ribbon goby? I forgot the name. Someone let me know in the comments. This guy's super cool. I totally forgot the name. I was just at the store. Ribbon goby? Totally forgot the name of this fish, guys. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you uh, know exactly what it is. I, I swear it's like a ribbon, ribbon goby, but it is a type of goby and it is super cool because they sift the sand. So these guys are great for picking up the scraps, hanging out in the tank. They're not aggressive at all. They can be with a billion other things. There's the, the watchman goby that Brick actually just said behind the camera. Those guys are super cool as well. You gotta pair those with a pistol shrimp though because those, those two are homies. So that'd be cool. Maybe we'll do a pistol shrimp and a watchman goby. But this guy, really cool. I got him because he's bright white and he has the yellow face with a nice blue stripe down his, uh, his face there. So really, really cool and interesting and usually the gobies are just straight up like, you know, beige or something. Got a nice color on them, so we got them. And his price was $39, $39 fish. Let's get him in his little container here so you guys can see him, check him out. Ooh, I got a good amount of water that time. Nice. So here is our goby that is unnamed. I forget the name of this guy. But as you can see, nice and tall fin, low key kind of pink on the fins, which is dope. And that blue stripe is what sold me on his face because that's really cool. And I think he was way more bright in the tank. Obviously when you scoop him out, transport him, they're gonna be a little stressed out, but that is a uh, cool $39 goby right here. I'm, I wanna say fancy goby for some reason. We're gonna call him the fancy goby, but he's really cool. Now let's get him in the tank. See how he looks with all his, uh, his buddies in here. So let's get my man, the goby in the tank here. You guys like when I put them in like this, so. Trap them up. Now you guys can see how uh, cool his colors are. Cause this guy's actually super scared. I don't know what he is, he's super skittish, man. 
It's all right, man, you're going to do a nice home. Look at that, boom, he's in, the clowns better be nice. You know the angelfish is a, a freak and he likes to assert his dominance immediately when anything gets in this tank. But right away, he's chilling in the back and look, the firefish thinks he's a firefish. So they're gonna be homies. Let's go, I need more firefish in here. I need more firefish in here. Loki, my favorite fish in the tank is the, is the firefish, guys. Not gonna lie, that thing's a beast. And there goes the angelfish being an asshole. He's just, he just likes to go up to him, make him, make him look at his colors and be like, yo, I'm the king here. When really he's not the king. He just likes to pretend to be the king. So. That was bag number one. Let's get on to bag number two. Bag number two is gonna be, drum roll please, some bright color for the tank. We got four green chromies. Like I said, I wanted to get some cool color in here. These are great because they're little small schooling guys, but they're not as expensive as clowns. Like I can get a bunch of clowns in here, but they're not as expensive as clowns. So these guys, I think were, I don't know, 15 bucks each? Still, I got four of them, it's still a good amount, but they're great because they're nice little schooling fish and they swim together and they got nice color. So we'll see them all swim back and forth. And uh, it's a great addition for the tank. So obviously we haven't put any damsels or chromies in here. We have to at least have one little small school of some chromies. Let's get these guys in the whole viewing container. Really see just how colorful they are. Look at these boys, look at these boys. Bright green, baby. Can't beat the, the bright green. Dude, don't go in the towel. Look at that. Bright green and they get kind of bluish, neon-y when they go in the tank, so they're gonna look great. Now these dudes are pretty much, this is a Sergeant Major, 100%. Like that is the same thing as a Sergeant Major, it's just a different color. When I catch the SMs out there on the inlet and wherever we go, this is, this is a dang Sergeant Major except different color scheme. So just imagine we can get an unlimited amount of those guys, maybe in our native pond that I've been talking about for a long time. But as you guys know, I've had a lot of stuff going on around the house and everything that I haven't had time to actually sit down and build the native pond. But I think that's coming very soon. Once uh, everything's done, we still have a little bit, a couple more weeks of, of construction and stuff to get through and then we can start our native pond and in the native pond we could do a literal unlimited supply school of baby starch majors like we could catch a thousand in one day and just have a million of those guys swim around half we have to do that we are going to do that you know what we are going to do that so once i set that up hopefully in the next couple weeks these guys times a thousand and baby starch majors i will spend all day netting those guys trust me let fish guy chris go to work let's get the four stooges look at them all right next to each other let's get the four stooges in their aquarium let's go the 125 is coming along. We got some nice collection of fish here and we're gonna keep going until it looks perfect 10 out of 10, okay? So we're getting there. Look at these guys going in. They wanna stay in the, in the glass. They wanna stay in the glass. Let's go. Get out there, boys. Get out there, boys, go. Look at that. We got our chromies in and ready to rock, baby. Let's go. First uh, little school of chromies added to the tank. Little school of damsels. We got four of them total for I think, I think it was a total of 15 bucks each times, 15 times four is? 60. Took me a second. 60 bucks, 39 bucks. We're looking at a little bit over a hundred bucks so far. What do we have next? Some cool dang fish. I really like those chromies. I'm happy with them. That is a great purchase. Anytime you get chromies, it's a good purchase, man. Such an underrated slept on fish. Just cause it's 15 bucks does not mean it's not a cool fish. They're lime green. Find me another lime green fish. Go ahead, bag number three. Now bag number three, we are gonna do a uh, another sand sifter. But this guy is one that we've had before in uh, the tank outside when we before we had to redo everything. This guy is a, why do I forget the names of all the gobies? Fancy goby? Did I already say fancy goby? Diamondback goby. I'm gonna go with diamondback goby because this guy is the one we've had before, which we did have him outside. The orange and white one, this guy puts in work. As soon as he gets in, he's sifting the sand, he's cleaning all that stuff, and uh, there's some white rocks and stuff in here that have chipped off from the top. He'll literally go in there and bury those with the black sand when he sifts it and stuff. It's gonna look awesome. The other one, the other goby that we just put in here is completely MIA. Yeah, he's hiding in a rock. So these guys put in work immediately. As soon as they see sand, they're addicted to it. It's like they're freaking, they're just so addicted to it. I don't know what it is they got in this sand. These guys love it. Well, let's get this guy in the tank. Uh, here is our, uh, check him out on the side. Pretty dope. He's got cool colors as well. More just white. He's just pretty much a straight white one. The other one had a nice blue stripe, but he's got orange spots and nice yellow eyes. So orange spots, yellow eyes, just simple white. I really got the gobies just for the sand sifting. Not so much the color. I'm sure I could find some really, really cool gobies, but these are the ones they had. And I really wanted some sand sifters in the pond because given that we have black sand, gotta stay on top of it to get that, uh, that sand sifting. Now let's get this dude in there. He'll hopefully find his other uh, goby friend and they all can hang out together. But I wanna see this guy sift in action. Let's get him out of his container. They all, all the fish like to stay in the container for some reason. It's very interesting. Go down to the sand, you're gonna love it. Go right to the bottom. Let's go. Start sifting, brother. Start sifting. And there's the angel being an a-hole. He doesn't, he doesn't ever attack anything like that. All he does is go up to him and just say, hey, I'm an angelfish in this tank. But honestly, guys, that angel might be getting kicked out. 
because he seems to have a problem with everybody. And I'm frankly, I'm quite sick, sir. I'm talking to you. You're a real asshole. Uh, honestly, honestly, I'm talking. I'm me. This is me talking to you. A coral. What is it? Uh, the, the brown. Coral beauty. The, no, this is a coral beauty. What's the other one? Flame angel. The flame angel is way cooler than you are. You're the second best. And who wants to be second? Nobody. If you're not first, you're last, and you're number two. Sorry, guys. I just want. I'm just trying to give him tough love because he's being an asshole to all my other fish. And it is true. I'm not lying to him. The flame angel is cooler than the coral, coral beauty. Sorry. That's a popular opinion. Let's get on to bag number four. Now we are gonna get into um, bag number four here, but I just wanted to see if I can update you guys on the cuttlefish. They all have found their hiding spot. They all go, they literally live underneath this rock, like under the whole thing. Like they're not in any of these crevices. It looks like there's nothing in this tank. We did have two non-survivors. It's confirmed, it's confirmed. We lost two, but there's still some more in here. We had nine, I think total, but everything I've been reading about them, they're so delicate and they're, it's got, everything's gotta be perfect. So hopefully they, it keeps going well. I've been putting, feeding them brine. You know, they went through this whole bottle here. They've been feeding them brine and there's a couple really active ones. A lot of them are still like not really going after the food. They're kind of just hanging out down by the bottom. So got to keep a sharp eye on them. I wish one would just show himself, but I do not want to disturb the cuttlefish. Trying to see if I can find one too. No, they all live underneath that rock. Underneath the big giant rock in the big sand or under the sand. That's where they live. Much respect. I would probably live there too. Now bag number four, like I mentioned, he's it's my favorite fish that I got out of the four because it's the most expensive $100 fish. The other one was I think 49 bucks. Surprisingly that that was more expensive than the first Gobi. This one, $100 fish. And it's one that we don't really get too often, but everyone, you guys love these guys, but they're the hard, one of the hardest fish to keep. So we gotta keep an eye on him very closely. Everything in here, super healthy. No problems, everyone's eating like a champ. No one's being all weird, swimming on their side, losing their color and their fins. Everyone's healthy. So that's why we're gonna try with this guy, see just how cool he is, just how good. He's gonna look in this tank with the blue background and everything. This is a blue tang, AKA Dory, hippo tang, whatever you wanna call it. Acting super weird in the bag. These guys are known to just lay down on their sides, but really, really cool fish. We can also get a school of these in here. They're totally okay together. I've had the tank that I actually got this guy from had about five, six, maybe even 10 of these, uh, these all together in the same tank, all hanging out with each other. So we could get more, but I'm starting with one to see how it goes. The blue tang, everyone's favorite fish. Let's get Dory in the damn bucket. Let's get Dory in her, uh, her viewing container here. We can't name her Dory, right? It's so basic. I have a good idea. Let's just name it Not Dory. Not Dory. Let me know in the comments if you think Not Dory is a good name or just comment below what you would name this little baby hippo tang. She's so dang cute. Let me know in the comments. We have to have a name for our hippo tang, our blue tang. So that's a must. Comment down below what you think we should name her. All right, Dory. Welcome to your viewing container. We're gonna take a good look at you make sure you're all good. And then we're gonna put you in your tank. Oh my God, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's like a Penny Paku saltwater edition. A Penny Dory. She's so tiny, guys. She's miniature. Such a cool fish to have, honestly. Such a cool fish to have. I mean, get, these guys get really big, surprisingly, but she might need a, a friend as well. Plus, Nemo's already in the tank, so I'm sure she'll be happy with that, but she might need a blue tang framed. I don't know what that was, blue tang framed. She might need a blue tang friend, but look how weird they are. That's totally normal for them to do that. They lay on their sides, they get into rocks and look like that, so you think they're literally not alive anymore. More, but that is what they do. That's how they uh, they act when they're scared. So maybe we'll get a little school of the blue tangs. That would be fun. Let me know by dropping a like on this video if you guys want to see a school of blue tangs, like a bunch of them swimming in that tank. That would be dope. But we're gonna start with one. See how we do. Hopefully she does okay. All right, not Dory. Your time to go into uh, your tank here. Let's see if everyone likes you. Okay, everyone's gonna be mean to you. Look how cute she is. It's the tiniest little blue tang I've ever seen in my life. So dang cute. And the angelfish. I swear to God, the, this angelfish is gone, guys. He's so gone. It's not even funny. I'm sick of him. Look at her go in. She's so dang cute. Look at her. Let's go, little Penny Dory. Little Penny Dory. She so deserves to be here. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Nemo saying hi already. She is so small. I am addicted. I'm addicted. Guys, we need more. We need more of these. Drop a like right now. This video gets like a thousand likes. I will go by four more Dories, the same size, because there's four more. That they were in the same tank together at the store. We can get a, we can get four more of those guys. We'll have five little baby Dories swimming around this tank. She's smaller than the freaking Chromies, but yet she's the most expensive fish. Can you believe that? That's pretty crazy. Should we try to, I'm gonna try to throw a little food in here. See if she's a daredevil. Not Dory. All right, not Dory. What do you got for me? If she eats right now, that's gonna be ridiculous. Come on, not Dory. Oh my God, not Dory, not Dory. I think she thought about it. She definitely thought about it. Did she just eat? She may have eaten one. She may have eaten one. She, she definitely was thinking about it. That's amazing. That's amazing. You know what I'm gonna get her? I'm gonna get that those little seaweed papers because she'll freaking love that. So we're gonna get her some seaweed papers, spare and jelly, I think it's called. Not too sure. We're gonna get her those. Awesome tank unboxing today. All the fish look fantastic in here. The clowns, firefish, the tangs, the angel. 
I'm sick of the angel. He's on my shit list. But Dory looks great. The Gobies are awesome. And the damsels, low key, look fantastic against that blue background, that, that uh, royal blue background, that, that green pops. So they look great in here. Dory is the king. She's the star of the show. She looks amazing. Excuse me, not Dory. She's the star of the show. And I'm so excited to watch them all grow, especially not Dory, because she is a literal penny. But she wants friends. So I once again. She, her, may, her name might be Penny. Let me know if you think Penny is a good name in the comments too. We can name her Penny. She's definitely not Dory and her name is Penny. And she does look like a pen. She's the size of a pen. So she might be Penny. But I'll keep you guys updated on the new fish that we got. And maybe we'll do some invertebrates next. We need some more starfish and we need some more shrimp. Like we got those really bright red shrimp. But I only got one. And you can't really see him because he's always hiding until he comes out for food. So I only see him when there's food. We should have 20 shrimp around here. So till then, see you in the next one guys.